and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to download and install the Resynthesizer plugin for Mac. As you can see here I've swapped out my usual Windows computer for a Mac. I'll be using GIMP 2.10.14 for this tutorial which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. But of course before I get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. As always I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape to tutorials on here as well as my GIMP book of layers and GIMP and Inkscape help articles so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com and as I mentioned you could purchase my GIMP book of layers or get it free with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So I actually have a GIMP help article version of this topic on my website. I have it for both Mac in this case and for Windows. And these help articles are available in 26 different languages. So if you prefer to read an article on this topic, especially in your native language, check out that link in the description of the video. So for those of you who aren't aware, the Resynthesizer plugin is going to be similar to Photoshop's Content Aware Fill. It's going to allow you to erase large objects in your photos. It also contains several other features that I'm not going to get into for this tutorial, but it's a very popular and very helpful plugin for GIMP. It's totally free. So for starters, you're going to want to come over here to the GitHub link where this is located for Mac. And of course, I'll include this link in the description of the video. But this is where the plugin is located for Mac builds. And what you have to do is scroll down. You'll see OSX packages. These are for Mac. And here under assets, you're going to have a bunch of different download files. The one we're looking for here is the Resynthesizer plugin GIMP 2.10 OSX.tgz. .tgz files are essentially the equivalent of a zip file on a Windows computer for Mac. At least that's the simplest way I can put it. So what I'll do to download this is just click on this. And that will start my download down here. All right, once the file has finished downloading here as it has on my computer, you're going to click this little arrow right here and go over to Show in Finder. This will show your download at the bottom here. This is a .tgz file. So you can come over here and see what type this is. It's a gzip compressed tar archive. But all you have to do to extract this is double click on it. And that will automatically extract it to the same folder where you downloaded it. In my case, it's my downloads folder. And if I come down here, I can click this little twirl icon here and that's going to reveal everything inside this folder. And so all of these files from the very top one down here to this folder right here are going to go into GIMP. So you want to shift click on the top and click on the bottom one until you have selected all the files inside of this download folder. For the next step, we need to figure out where our plugins folder is located for GIMP on our Mac. So to do that, I recommend opening up GIMP. And so I'll click down here to open up GIMP. And to go to my preferences, I'll click on the GIMP 2.10 menu option here and then come down to preferences. And I'm going to scroll down here on the left side until I get to folders and I'm just going to expand that and scroll down and then I'll click on plugins. So this is the location where we need to find our plugins folder. So if I click on that, I can come over here and click on this little icon and this will bring up that location inside of our finder window. And that information was courtesy of one of my subscribers. So thank you for giving me that little tip. So here we have two finder windows open. So this one is our plugins folder inside of GIMP. And this one over here is our downloads folder. Now what we need to do is click and drag all the files from that download over here until we get to the plugins folder. You can kind of see it here on the left side. So we just want to drag and drop it into the plugins folder. And now all of our plugin files are here inside of GIMP. But what I need to do next is I need to close down GIMP. So I'll hit cancel on here and I'm going to exit out of GIMP. And then I'll just reopen GIMP. So I'll click the little GIMP icon again. And now if I go to filters, enhance, you should now see the filters here for the resynthesizer plugin. So the main one is gonna be heel selection. There's also a few other ones I'm not going to get into right now. So I'll test this out by coming over to my finder window and I just have a photo I downloaded here. I'm going to click and drag this into GIMP. 
So the heel selection tool inside of the resynthesizer plugin is going to be the most common and most popular tool found with this plugin download. It's most similar to that Adobe Photoshop content aware fill feature. So it's basically just going to erase out a large portion of your photo and try to fill in the gap so that it looks like nothing was ever there to begin with. So to use this tool, I'm just going to grab the lasso tool. And by the way, I have an entire tutorial dedicated to how to use this tool. So definitely check that out if you want more in-depth information. And I'm just going to quickly select this guy. I don't know how good of a job it'll do with this particular object, but I'll hit the enter key and come up here to filters, enhance, and down here to heel selection. So I'm just going to go with the default for now. Again, check out that tutorial on my channel for more details. And I'll hit Command Shift A to deselect that. And there you can see an example of how powerful this plugin can be. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon and be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.